to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for tonight's main event. 15 rounds in the welterweight division. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Tommy Hearns is really keyed in for this one. You can see it as he makes his walk to the ring. He's the kind of fighter who you just know has no self-doubts. Look at the way he's making his way down to the ring right now. You can see it in his eyes. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Carries that punch intended for the head. What do you think we'll see out of Tommy Hearns here tonight, Teddy? Well, if he has his way, you're going to see what you should see. With a fighter this tall, this fast, and this powerful, he's going to stand in a place where he can use it, not on the inside. On the outside where he can control range, and he can time his opponent coming in, and if his opponent stays out, he can use that jab to keep him out. So the early action here in this fight should reveal an edge. Hearns has got speed. He can move. Well, they say speed kills. He better just be careful he doesn't have an accident. He doesn't get reckless with that speed. Back to the body. Good step back counter punch there. Able to show you his blocking ability. Unable to connect by Tommy Hearns. Good flush straight left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. That's a huge left he just scored with. Hey, I know he's not in great shape, but he's doing a very good job now all of a sudden of defending himself. And he ties up on the inside. Able to dismiss it. Forceful jab by Tommy Hearns. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Not precise at all by Tommy Hearns. 
So as that round ends, it gives us pause to realize what has just taken place, and that is we have one man who just separated himself from the other. He was able to stun his opponent, and you got to think good things are coming. Well, they've been coming for a while because I really think that those punches are a benefit from a couple rounds ago. He's been hitting with a lot of punches, and I think it's starting to take its toll, and you saw it there. You have to keep your hands up. I need to box him. Wait for him to boom. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets dropped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Blocks that belt line well. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Big shot, the left crashed home. Tommy Hearns blocks that punch. <laughs> Hearns is doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. 90 seconds to go here in this round. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Takes a step back, then the counterpunch by Tommy Hearns. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Nice. Teddy, you talked about Tommy Hearns' explosive ability. He opened a lot of eyes with his early career knockouts. He was the kind of guy that you were almost scared for his opponent when he fought. Yeah, and you know, you almost worried that he needed a meal, too. Because you looked at him, he was so thin, he was unassuming. You know, you knew the record, but when you saw him, maybe if you hadn't seen him before, you thought you were going to see this Hercules guy, this guy with muscles popping all over. But you saw a tall, skinny guy, and he gets leverage. And boy, oh boy, does he get results. He puts guys out. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Solid left. Just like that, you're moving, you're gonna take this. Here you go. Stay away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that. Tommy Hearns is damaged by a right hand. Right to the belt line. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. He 
Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Took a shot, now he gives a left. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. And he engages in the clinch. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. On the mark with a straight left hand. Can you believe that? What a change in momentum. He just got rocked moments ago. He was the one hurting his opponent. Reminds you of the song, I can do anything you can do, only better. <laughs> Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Seconds to go in this third round. Great movement to get away from those punches. Doing great. And this round comes to an end. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. You got it. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just need you to focus. Listen, I'm not gonna stand here and watch you take those shots, you understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. Read deep for me, read deep for me. All right, let's look at Teddy's scorecard after three rounds, and you can see that he's up by just a round, but I think it's fair to say that it's anybody's fight at this point. Tommy Hearns with a huge left hand. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date he wants to get to it. Comes right back with a shot of his own. It's much too early for him to be hearing this kind of analysis, but it's true. Hearns' punches right now are slowing down. He's tired. Yeah, and I'm wondering if he's mentally tired, he's discouraged, or physically he didn't put the work in. hit but he gives it right back right, do it. 90 seconds to go in round number four well supposed to be fighting but instead he's hugging Not focus. oh and he's got something for him himself and it's a left hand Really frustrating his opponent now, as he's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night 
for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's gonna leave an opening. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. And that's the end of round four. You know, Teddy, I'm looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he oh, yeah. thinks he has to go out there and try to end this yeah. fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor is going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. How you doing? Come on. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, right? I just need you to focus and keep your hands up. Keep working the jab, OK? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You OK? Good. I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around and around. Tough to believe that he can turn things around quickly. Hard to believe, based on the end of that last round, that Tommy Hearns is banged up. Big shot there. There he goes. He goes down from that headshot. One, two, three, four. Five. Hearns is back up on his feet. What will he look like in the next few moments of this fight? That's the big question. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Yeah. <laughs> he took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left hand scores. Not much action as he just ties up. Good way to protect the midsection. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. A good block. Tommy the Hitman Hearns with a big hit right hand. Pace yourself. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Let it go. Able to dismiss that body shot. Tommy Hearns' movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Look! And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Oh, that's gotta hurt! Oh, and he goes down again! The question is... Can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five. And it's over. Look at this. Tommy Hearns is a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. He's probably going to mark that down as one of the highlights of his career. From out of nowhere, 
one single knockout punch. Well, it's one of those punches that actually can be marked down. It's going to last in the annals of this sport. I mean, this matches up with any of the great knockouts ever in this sport. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.